Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at a new feature that was added in the recent update 3.6 for League of Angels Fire Raiders. Uh, it is the uh, Divinite or, or Divinate, however you want to say it, uh, feature that was added. So if we go into that, it's found under uh, Enhance by the way. So it's there. So I've been playing around with it a little bit today and obviously I hadn't really been playing uh, League of Angels much uh, really, well not at all really in the last couple of weeks so I don't really know anything about this update going into it and uh, so I've been playing around with it a little bit today and I think I've kind of grasped what, what it is. So basically you've got these altars along the top, there's uh, five different ones, you've got a green, blue, purple, orange and red. Um, the orange and the red one if you tap this EX uh, green button and in between the uh, green, uh, the orange and the red one, uh, it comes up with um, the higher chance of getting legendary um, uh, divinites or divinates or whatever you, however you want to say it, uh, using the uh, the uh, diamonds. If you uh, do the uh, prayer or multi prayer, it will pick one of these five at random, but you've got a very low chance of getting the higher ones there. Uh, when I've been, while I've been doing it, I've mostly been getting uh, the green, the blue, and the purple, and the green one obviously more than the others. Uh, but I have been getting the orange one. I've probably had it about five or six times out of maybe thirty or forty goes or whatever it is that I've had. I don't think I've seen any red ones, but I didn't watch properly the first few times because I didn't really understand the feature. Um, so I'm going to try and go through it as best I can. So when you do a uh, prayer, it does it once. So we tap that and it picks one at random. So it picked the blue one. So as you can see, it's kind of flashing on the top, like a kind of a yellow ring on it. So it picked that one. So if I do another one, it picked the green one. And it gives you these uh, these things at the bottom there. Uh, with different um, stats on them. So this one's a dodge one. It gives 36, and it's uh, level one. They they all start off as level one, but there's different rarities. So this one here is a, a green one, and so that's a um, uh, what is it actually? Um, the white uh, the white ones are uncommon. So the green ones are common, I think. Then you've got uh, rare, ultra rare, and all that kind of thing. So if you go to multi prayer, you see uh, the white ones are common, greens uncommon, blues rare, purples epic, and then you've got a chance of getting legendary ones from the higher two altars there. So if you do if you do multi prayer, you can set the amount of money that you uh, like gold that you can use. So if we put it on a small amount, it's quite uh, fiddly, but obviously the more money you've got, uh, the the more of these that you can do because it costs different amounts. I think as you as you go up, so uh, each one costs ten thousand. So if you do multi, I don't want to do it for the full amount, but you can set it to a, a lower amount and it will do it or it will do it itself. Uh, it's quite. It's quite fiddly though to get it. It would be nice like if they could do it a bit better than this instead of like doing the plus and minus it only goes up by one. So it's gonna it's, it's a pointless thing doing it with the plus and minus. Maybe it should go up when you do a plus it should go up by uh you know like whatever the minimum amount was uh the ten thousand each time you press it it would be better. Um but you can set these to different amounts. So if you've got a lot of uh, gold, then this is a this is a really good feature for people with a lot of gold and nothing to really spend them on. But you can set it to dissolve certain ones automatically as it goes through. So what I've been doing is setting it to do the uh, un uh, the common and the uncommon ones, and then you click start, and it will just it will go through the animations. You can speed it up or you can stop it by pressing the stop button or the skip button, uh, which is next to it there with the two arrows. But if you watch it, you can you can do that as well. You'll see the money go down. You can get you get uh, sorry gold. You get gold occasionally from the altars instead of um, of these uh, divinate things. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and skip it now. 
So it should skip right to the end. It might take a few seconds for it to do because it says it's like calculating or whatever. The max amount of these divinites or divinates you can get is a uh, hundred at a time. And so you can see how many you've got at the moment. So I've got 14 of 100. So if you do that multi one, it will it will keep going until you've either used the amount of gold that you've set or you've got up to the uh, amount like 100 and then it would stop at that because you can't get any more. So I have pressed the, the skip bit and it does take a bit of time for it to do it. But it's I think it's a bit dodgy at the moment. Sometimes it does it and sometimes it doesn't seem to do it straight away. Um, then you've got like your list of ones that you've collected there. So I've got some purple ones, so they're the uh, the epic ones. Blue ones are the rare, green, uh, common, and the little white ball type glowy thing there is the uh, common ones. So there's another thing that you can use, and it took me a while to figure it out. Is this this first thing that's there that's always there, the EXP pull. So you can put things into there. So at the moment I've got EXP pool 3,622. So if I select all of the common and uncommon ones and then click the upgrade, it will add some XP to that amount. So now I've got 3,628. If I then go and press the hero button that's on the bottom corner there and select one of my heroes, this is where you uh, you can place these uh, divinates, divinites. So as you can see, I've done it with quite a few of them. You just click on it, and then it brings up a list, and you select the ones that you want. They've got various stats, and they're for various things. Like the first one there, the first purple one is is parry. Uh, if I go to the next one, I can put dodge in there if I want. The next one, I can put hit, and so on, and then you can level these up and you can level them up to level 20 and they obviously start off at level 1 you can see what level they're currently at by looking on them and they're kind of at the top there so this one is LV.6 so that means level 6 so if I click on this third one here that's um, level 1 at the moment and then you can see there I can either con uh, press consume and if I click on that I can select some of these divinates, divinates whatever you want to say uh, and then use them to, to level these up uh, by selecting them and then clicking upgrade and then that levels them up and it raises the stat it raises the BR which you can see there at the moment on uh, Bamboo Warrior I've got uh, sorry Bamboo Fight I've got 940 so if I click on that one again but instead of consume this time if I click upgrade it will use the XP from my EXP um, pool which was from the other screen where you can uh, use exchange the divinates divinites into XP so if I click upgrade it will take some from that pool and it will add whatever I need so I need 68 and I've got 0 of 68 at the moment so if I press upgrade it will take 68 from the pool and it will do it that way I can change them as well by clicking change and selecting a different um, divinate divinite and putting it in or I can remove it completely by clicking that um, and it doesn't delete it, it's still there in the uh, inventory. It's not like the uh, crests where um, it can be deleted or whatever. Um, they are still in your inventory once you once you remove them. So you can take them off of a hero if you ever want to that you're not going to be using anymore and you get a new hero and, and instead of having to level them all up from the start again you can just take them off the hero you're not using anymore and place them on that new hero. So that's what that EXP pool is. It took me a little while to figure it out. I wasn't quite sure exactly what that meant until I got onto this screen and I had a proper look and I see that it was there. So you can just use it by clicking on it. So it's quite a quite a cool feature. Um, it's definitely for people who have got a lot of gold. So you can just sit here all day just clicking this if you want and just get all the different kinds of divinites or whatever to place in there and uh, get ones that you don't want like these uh, common or uncommon ones and use them for XP to level up your your better ones so that was a quick look at the uh, the new feature in 3.6 I hope you liked it guys thanks for watching bye